Hi, my name is Fabio Lattanzi, and I am a Senior Storage Solutions Architect at AWS. In this video, we will talk about configuring access policies in Amazon S3. By default, your S3 buckets are private. Identities outside your AWS account have no access to your S3 resources. However, users can modify bucket policies or object permissions to allow public access. S3 block public access prevents new settings and override existing settings, making S3 resources publicly accessible. Let's dive into the four settings available within block public access. Enabling these two settings, you can block public access granted via new access control lists and new bucket policies. When these two settings are enabled, S3 will block uploading new objects with public ACLs and will block new public bucket policies. You can also block public access granted through existing access control lists and bucket policies. When you enable these two settings, S3 will ignore existing public ACLs and existing public bucket policies. We advise to enable all these settings to prevent public access to S3 resources. Block public access will be enabled by default for newly created S3 buckets after April 2023. But what about existing S3 buckets? We will now log into the S3 management console and enable block public access on an existing bucket and on the entire AWS account as well. We now log into the Amazon S3 management console. We search for the bucket where we want to enable block public access. We go to the permissions tab and we verify the current settings for block public access. And it's not enabled. So we edit the setting. We enable block all public access. We save changes. We confirm the new settings. And we now confirm that on this bucket, block public access is enabled. We can also enable block public access on an entire AWS account. To do so on the left, we click on uh, block public access settings for this account. The current setting is block public access completely disabled. So we edit the setting. We select block all public access. We save changes and we confirm the new settings. We are now protecting the entire AWS account for public access. Now that you know how to prevent public access to your S3 resources, Let's talk about how you can configure access management suited to your needs. Amazon S3 provides multiple mechanisms for access management. IAM policies apply to IAM users and roles. S3 bucket policies apply to S3 buckets. And S3 access control lists apply to S3 buckets and S3 objects. ACLs predate AWS identity and access management. It's the legacy method to manage cross-account access to S3 resources. The majority of use cases in Amazon S3 no longer require the use of ACLs. And we advise that you disable them to simplify permissions management and auditing. ACLs will be disabled by default for newly created S3 buckets after April 2023. 
But what about existing S3 buckets? Let's go to the S3 management console and disable ACLs on an existing S3 bucket. We now log into the Amazon S3 management console. We search for the same bucket where previously we enabled block public access. We select the permissions tab and we scroll down to the object ownership section. And we can verify that ACLs are enabled. So we're gonna edit this setting and select ACLs disabled. We save changes and confirm that ACLs are now disabled on this S3 bucket. Now that we disabled ACLs, we can grant access to S3 resources through IAM policies and S3 bucket policies. An IAM policy determines what actions an IAM user or IAM role can perform. The effect element specifies whether the policy results in an allow or deny. The action element specifies which actions are allowed or denied. And finally, the resource element specifies which AWS resources are affected by the policy. A bucket policy has a very similar syntax with the addition of the principal element. That is who can access my S3 resources. In this example, the principal is an AWS account. In order to share S3 resources cross account, we need an IAM policy attached to the IAM entity and a correspondent bucket policy. If you use Amazon S3 to store shared data sets accessed by different applications and teams, Bucket policies can become more complex and time consuming to manage. More effort is necessary to maintain the bucket policy and making a mistake means potentially affecting all users and applications accessing the bucket. With S3 access points, you can create individual access control policies for each access point to easily control access to shared data sets and reduce the blast radius of mistakes. You can scale access for hundreds or even thousands of applications by creating individualized access points with permissions customized for each application. To further simplify access to shared datasets, bucket owners can leverage cross-account S3 access points to delegate access management to trusted AWS accounts to create their own access points. By using this feature, bucket owners can grant data access to cross-account users without managing IAM roles or multiple access point policies. Once you configured access policies to S3 resources, it's also important reviewing permissions over time and logging requests. With Access Analyzer for S3, you can continuously identify resources with overly broad permissions across your entire AWS organization. And you can log requests using S3 server access logs and AWS CloudTrail. We recently added the ACL required field to both server access logs and CloudTrail logs. If the request required an ACL for authorization, the ACL required value is yes. You can use this information to migrate those ACL permissions to the appropriate bucket policies. And after you have created these bucket policies, you can disable ACLs for these buckets. 
If you want to learn more about access management on Amazon S3, check out the S3 security and access management webpage and our two free online courses, securing and protecting your data in Amazon S3 and auditing Amazon S3 security. Thank you for taking the time to learn about configuring and monitoring access policies for Amazon S3 resources.